Nyaze nyaze ni P-I-Z-Z hapa hivi Henny Don't kwa hapa hivi Henny C. Lamu Knight uh, Make sure I want to big up Kwanza the soul for coming through for the uh, album listening party uh, Na leo Kenya neza sema tu ni more love, more life maze More music coming Check out Lamu Knight on all platforms Don't Guys, welcome back to the sauce. We are at Emara Ole Sereni with Octo Pizzo for his listening party for Lamu Nights. Octo, how are you feeling? Feel dope, feel fresh. Mm, I feel fit, yeah. Mm. Tell us more about Lamu Nights. There's no more. Lamu Night was just a good, a good, a good, like a uh, feel good album. I think yeah. it's not what people expected from me. Yeah. Being a, an RB like record. Yeah. So I'm as early Octo Wakurap Sana. And I think uh, I like trying new sounds, like even my next album will not be the same. And uh, with Lamu Nice, I just wanted to appreciate where I am, you know. Sometimes we get to places we wish we were, but then we don't appreciate when we get there, we still complain. So with Lamu Nights, I wanted one to just appreciate myself and feel good about the little that I made. And also bring artists that I've been listening to that I feel should be played and should be known but I feel like people are not giving them attention and they are so talented. So for me, Lamu Nights was more of like a showcase of like the most talented soul R&B artists that we have in the country. Amazing, amazing. And you put on some very amazing artists. What was your favorite part about working with this artist? The favorite part of always working with the artists that don't do the genre I do is that they bring 100%. You know, when, when sometimes I feel like I want to do a, a, a record with another rapper, it's always become like a competition. Yeah. Like who had, who had the hardest bar, yes. you know? Who so went it, who went hard, people yeah. forget about the music. So I choose not to do most of like rap collabs. I'll do somebody with a jazz artist, yeah. R&B, an Afro guy, because yeah. they'll bring the best of Afro, I'll bring the best of rap, and it will not be a competition. I'm not saying I'll not do collabs with other rappers, because, uh, like what I'm about here, dosage. Yes. Nyash is on my next album. It's gonna be lit. So Nyash is on the next album. It's gonna be lit. But it's because me and Nyash, we we become friends before we became artists. Yeah. So for me, before I do a, a collab with you, it can't be just that we are artists at Utuna Meet Studio to rap. We have to vibe on a personal level. Like we understand where you are in life, where I am in life. Nimejua Anto. Niki do freestyle uko wapi? Anto alikuwa anatudia ma vitu zingine like eh alafu sisi tunapiga. Tuna 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 rap jo mpaka mizizi zinatoka huko. That was like 14 years ago. Imekuwa 14 years of friendship bana. Na anytime na kuligia Anto yeye usho up. Today alikuwa ana tu wase kiasi tu wakacha vibe of feel fit na to appreciate wasanii wenye wali bring lamu light to hii kitu yani. So by the time unaenda studio it's 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 not a competition. It's respect of growth. Yeah. What is your favorite song on the album? All of them are my favorite, but uh, Diaspora was my favorite because uh, it was very different and Tito Tito brought like uh, like brought it home for me. Like uh, it took me back to Kibera and took me back to where I am now. So Diaspora is my my favorite. Nikki were biased, but all of them are my favorite. Tito Wagevamo. Yes. Uh, talk to us about Lamu. You've mentioned Lamu in this album. Yeah. What is the favorite thing about Lamu for you? Just in general, I always think like people, you'll hear people, people who talk about Lamu are mostly tourists. Yes. In Amanisha, us as local people, we actually don't know how this country is beautiful. Until you travel out, we realize we don't appreciate enough Kenya. Like, being in Lamu is like being in Florence. Yeah, like if you ever been in so Paris, yeah, like Lamu is so beautiful, it's so peaceful. There's no cars, you know. There's no cars in Lamu. You use like boats. It's on the taxi. Uh, the food is like something else. Now I think for creatives, most of the time, we don't take time to rest and we don't take time to just chill and treat ourselves. We're so busy trying to make other people happy that we don't make ourselves happy. So me, I think I've reached somewhere in my life or in my career that I don't have to prove to people that I can rap. They know I can rap. What else can I do? Uh, I've reached a point where also what one of the minimum aggressive sana. They don't know like, eh, hey, I'm going to go to I'm going to go to Chinjana, I'm going to go to Diangelo, I'm going to go to Kasirika. 
So I think I wanted to give people the other side of me that I don't show as much, but mostly Niku promote home yani. There's a lot like Lamu is just one of them. Kuna Diani, Ukenda like Trukana. I don't know if you've ever been to like Trukana. It's white sands. Like wasoks get Trukana on a skigatu was on a daddy. But no, there's amazing places in Trukana. And I feel like as as Kenyans we need to start appreciating our own stuff. Because now, mtu wako inja kisikia lamu na tatuliza hii lamu ni nini. Uki google lamu sa hii, lamu nights come on the Google, and lamu comes. So uneza enda lamu na usikia yu album na usikia nbona tunaita lamu nights. Amazing. You've talked about wanting to rest and taking time for yourself. How do you take care of your mental health? Because I know it's important for artists. There are challenges that you face. And, you know, how do you take care of yourself? I do trips. So if you realize I don't stay, like when I'm here, I'm always working. I feel like, like Nairobi is, is just, I have to work. Like I can't rest in Nairobi. I, uh, there's uh, what it comes with our work. We always eat and too, like freely. You know, I'm going to go to the coffee shop, I'm going to enjoy the coffee, I'm going to home. But when I'm in a place, I'm going to take a selfie, I'm going to take a selfie. So I travel when I need to chill. Even when I write, I have to write when I'm away. I don't write music in studio. Uh, I like nature, so either ni ende ocha, kuetu ni chill, cause ni kona keja, fiti, ama ni ende like uh, Scandinavian countries, cause I'm, I can afford it, so mbona ni siji spoil. Banko tuch. You know, no. So I think wa say, before you go pa, wa say watuka get, wana go pa kaku, kusema like, eh, hey, maze sa hii, kuna venye ni meblesi kakiasi, na naeza ji spoil. You need to spoil yourself, cause there's nobody who's gonna spoil you. Hakuna, hakuna ati, saa hiyo hakuna mresha takuja kupeleke yao, tatiniaze, tuende Maldives. Mina na mkaga tunasema, es, nikona hii visa. Na venye saa hini kombaya. Kaende. Kaende, maze, destination, destination. Na naishia. So that's the way I keep myself near. I love to have dogs. And my dogs give me peace, man. I have like 12 dogs. So they're like my friends. Because also it's very hard to have genuine friends in our in our business. I have like two best friends from childhood and they treat me like me, not like Octopizo, you know? Yeah. And and in our job you really need somebody who treats you like you. Akiona unaenda vibaya na kwambia eh hapa jo, usi wewe. Because sasa zingine unaweza kuwa swept out na na culture, na fame. So I have these two best friends wenye au niambia eh ni ufala. So those are the only people I need and my dogs. I have 12 dogs, different breeds. What artist are you currently listening to? Uh, right now, I'm listening to this artist and it was Kale Bawiti. You guys need to check him out. And he's like the Bryston Tiller of Africa. He's a young guy, I think he's like 20. Uh, I already have a record with him. But it's the guy I'm listening to now. It's called Kale Bawiti. You guys need to check him out. How has it been working with NSE on this project and every other project that you've worked with them for? With, with NSE, it has been like family. Like, uh, I was doing as I say, Maje. We, we met and just clicked. We clicked on so many levels because we, we didn't meet on a commercial. The way people think, like, oh, I'm posting NSE on a leap. We meet on a social impact way through my foundation. This is how I met NSE because they care about things that I do in the community. And so I told them like, oh, I, we can do the community stuff and we can do the commercial stuff. And me and the NSC, it's been, it's been less than a year that we may do the most. Like, hey, me. I don't know if you saw the cypher. That's the first time we've had like an African cypher that it'll, 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 it'll go all the way. Like, it was too crazy. It has not even been done. No, nimekuwa uko konya kwa NSC is made twice. Because then he had to make home. If you watch Udavi, the, the video from uh, Lamu Nights, that was like the main video for Lamu Nights, and also was shot at the Hennessy, uh, like the owner of Hennessy's house. Ooh, yeah, like the, lens. It was late, it was late. Like I go to that house and I ask them, can I shoot? And they say like, yeah, you can shoot. In fact, we'll pay for the shooting. So Hennessy make wa, he make wa family member. Me, me was one of them, eh, who ni waka pana, me ni family member of Hennessy. So it's been so dope, it's been real, and 
uh, nimekuwa introduced to cognac in a different level than yeah. miss kwa najua wa sodani tu sana kunywa kulewa but with the hennessy is about lifestyle mimi naenda gamta na machupa zangu za heni nachukua maboy wangu wa ndudhi naomba mazee staff lazima pia nyim test sia wasi wa dosi peke hadi sisi watu wa ghetto tuna feel tunataka feel hiyo vibe yani so utapata siku moja nitawaita mkam kibich tuchape maheni zetu invite us invite us na ndudhi gang tutakam mtakam yeah. they invite so yeah that's my journey with the and we're still going there's still much coming up this year's gonna be even more crazy yeah. amazing let's talk about drip yeah. from the hair and to yeah. the necklace to the shoes everything talk to us about like how you know your fashion has evolved over the years and how you feel when wearing this stuff ah uh, leo leo nilikuwa na feel d'angelo album ilikuwa ya rnb bano sexy sex eh wase wanadhani lazima uko na six packs skinny boys united bana sio wabaya if you know you know wale wazi but uh, i'm a love of fashion i started as a as a fashion designer before tani anza ku rap uh, and i think for for rappers kuna look moja wase uzoea lazima uvae gangster uh, i don't know why i've never understood i like trying things that men like who are in rap will find feminine and i always feel like if you're so scared to wear earrings in amanisha you are not in touch like how jamini kawe ni mwanaume enough you're not in touch with your femininity you're not in touch with yourself like you know if i ukwa to kiva earring una feel when you dem if i ukwa kiva beats una feel when dem na fa with with fashion ni venye sio na as i say maje fashion is how you feel that morning you know yeah. fashion and style is like how you feel na zaf am ka morning nataka kuva two shorts na zaf am ka one day nataka kuva suit na hata kuna meeting naenda ya suit mimi napiga suit zangu natembea cuz i like feeling like that i like i think people the way you dress is also shows how much people wanna ku approach kuna venye ukivaa wasa sema eh wewe msana ka hataki kuongea na sisi but me being a rapper and most of my time songs sangu like ni very hardcore my female fan base are like 27% na hiyo 27% mostly wameletwa na fashion not the music yeah. so there's people who actually are fans not of the music but of the fashion and mostly are females so mazet ko hapa kuonyesha so leo nimepiga mazeni Louis Vuitton Luku in if custom made actually tengenezwa last week na Hennessy Hennessy and Nike collabo so hiyo ni custom made maze this is 2020 leo ndo nimezivaya kwanza jua no ma gig na Hennessy so yeah, nilikuwa nataka feel fit yeah. yeah talking about females mm -hmm. and you know they love you we yeah. love you we do great music yeah. uh Valentine's is coming yeah. where's your girlfriend well where's your wife Ah my wife is away my wife my wife iko hapa hivi but anaweza pull up on valentines okay. but i i issue huko what's your love language my love language is communication yeah i like communicate napenda kuongea tu na msupa na mbe eh leo naka fit eh communication uh, compliments spend gifts i do badly with gifts can let a gift naweza kata spend kutritiwa yani sitaki Stake ku feel special nataka tu communicate hata ya feel special i'll make her feel special but me spend the gifts napenda kwa low key napenda tu communicate